So there are two things which have happened over the last few years. One is the introduction of uh, direct plans, and second is uh, the advisory regulations which have come out from SEBI. So both are actually taking advisory businesses to a different level. So people are now onboarding advisory clients and charging fees rather than uh, concentrating on commissions. So I would say that we'll see a lot of distributors moving and becoming investment advisors in the future. Referring to the previous answer which I mentioned, uh, as the preferences to advisory business kind of increases, uh, uh, what we'll start to see is the scale of the number of clients opting for advisory services will keep increasing, and hence uh, things like uh, you know trail commission etc on uh, distribution will take a backstage, and advisory fees as a pool in the industry will keep increasing. So I think that's the way forward. Indian Wealthy uh, definitely is looking at passives very, very positively. A, the expense ratios for such funds are extremely low. And secondly, I think from a rebalancing perspective, most ETFs do not have any exit loads. So for instance, if you have around 15 to 20% in passives and you want to rebalance it and bring your equity exposure down or up, uh, you can easily do so without any impact costs. So um, the wealthy do love their passives.